So my goal with exercising during the 30 day journey has been just to literally try my best to get to 10,000 steps. Earlier, I talked about being a restaurant owner and being in healthcare. There was no doubt every day I was walking 14 to 16,000 steps. And when you do that, as well as eating, you know, it kind of counteracts. But now that I'm so sedentary because I work for y'all, behind the scenes on the computer and all that, I'm barely getting, like me and Lisa, talk, head coach Lisa talked, 2,000 steps a day. So just being able to get outside, we have a sportsplex here in our city to walk the sidewalks, hiking trails we can, and then also our property and around the lake. Um, I've been doing that to try to get up to at least 10,000. Have I been successful every single day to do it? No, but it's still a goal to have. I encourage you right now Try your best to do something better than what you've done. If that's 2,000 steps a day, do 2,500 steps a day. If that's eating out four times a week, eat out twice a week. If that's eat, drinking regular soda, switch it up to diet soda or just to water. You all these small healthy goals that we do to ourselves will give us the results that we need in the long run. And it's something to work towards. Because I don't know about you, if I have a goal to work towards, I am crushing it almost every time. All right, let's do some real talk. A lot of you probably have realized what is the scarring on my head, what's going on with that, and I have what is called dissecting folliculitis. And really the number one thing, it's an inflammatory disease. Like it is a skin disease, but it also is inflammatory. So that's why I talk like with head coach Lisa about changing up my dietary or changing up my diet once I get to go away just to see like what foods is making it inflamed. Um, you know, cause there's nights where it's like my head swells and it hurts so bad to lay on a pillow. But one thing that we discussed and it really hit me was, she's like, you need to lose the weight first before you start switching up the way you eat because I need to be able to do this by myself to get the weight off, to feel that satisf satisfaction and seeing that, hey, you can do it no matter what you eat. And then once I get my weight off and get to goal, then start focusing on what should I eliminate? Should I eliminate dairy? Instead of trying to go, oh my gosh, I'm trying to eliminate dairy and meat, but I'm also trying to lose 40 pounds at the same time. So I've really listened to her this time and I'm gonna lose the 40, 40 something pounds and then you know, get my skin disease under control as much as I can you know, normally or naturally, but you know, it is something that I constantly deal with on a daily basis, but this is just another thing for me to tell you if you're out there dealing with anything that you feel like you're all alone, um, there's gonna be somebody out there that either has the same thing or has been through the same thing as you. So please, please be strong in the community and reach out. And yeah, I'm here for you. Why did I give it up? Like, and that's not me saying that it's easy. You know, that's not me saying that, oh, losing the weight is easy. Keeping it off is hard. Like in everybody that I've talked to that is in maintenance tells me it's hard. It's a journey. It's a battle. You know, I've thought about this myself, like getting back down to goal weight in 2022, like it's definitely gonna be doable for me. But like, what's gonna happen if I give it up? What's gonna happen if I fail again? And really that's been weighing heavy on me as weeks as I've been in week three of this 30 day journey, you know, and I hate to really be vulnerable and bring it up, but like working for a health and wellness company, like there's been times when I've gained my weight that I've thought to myself, like, do people really believe me when they say I am the community manager for healthy? Like, do people really believe me that I know what I'm talking about? Like once you've had weight gain, it's something that nobody talks about because like, we're still in this space. We're still doing it. Like, and for me to be able to tell you, hey, Susan, if you track your food, if you track your water, this is the result you're gonna get. And they do it and they see the result and they come back and they say, wow, that works. Why haven't I been able to do that? Why have I gained back 40 of my 60 pounds? And why has it taken me until now to lose this weight? Since 2019, it's 2022. No more excuses. So like, this is me telling y'all, like send me a DM, be like, hey Jordan, are you okay? And I'm gonna be like, yes, here it is. And if you guys haven't already, like follow me on my regular social, Clyde's Daily Life. 
Um, I've been documenting this journey even behind the scenes and all my weights and all that stuff. So you'll be able to see kind of behind the scenes before the episodes come out. But uh, everybody's been so supportive of me this time around. But uh, yeah, just really want to do this not only for myself, for my family, but also for you. All right, I just got a Slack message from head coach Lisa. It's the platform we use for the healthy member or for the healthy employees. And um, let's see what she has to say. Hey, I just wanted to check and see how your week went. Hey, Lisa. So it went good, but, you know, I told you that my family was in town, the ones that normally aren't here. Um, so really it was just trying to spend as much as time with them. And of course it would be when I do my 30 day journey. Okay. So you know me, I have this like little running dialogue in my head and I'm like, okay, let's see where we're ticking off the boxes. And I have an idea that might make a big change in how you see success doing this. Do you want to hear it? Do I want to hear it? Do I want to hear it? Of course I want to hear it. That's why I always ask you 50 million questions. Oh. So I don't think that you've done anything wrong at all. But here's one of the things that we are kind of checking with all of our members and that is how your weigh-in day actually affects your results so for instance i know that you eat differently on later in the week like friday nights and weekends so have you ever considered doing your weigh-in friday morning before all of that then that gives you a chance to enjoy your weekend enjoy what you want to have to eat, and then you have the whole rest of the week to get rid of that before your next weigh-in. Like, I know that you normally weigh on Mondays, but on Mondays, you're going to be carrying the weight of all of that extra stuff, extra sodium, all the good stuff from the weekend. What do you think? Do you want to try weighing on Fridays for a while? Never really thought of that. Like, I've always just set my weigh-in day and just set my weigh-in day when I start it. Huh. This could be something, honestly, I should do. Don't you think? I think. Huh. I never, honestly, ever thought about that. I've I've always just, every time I started, just put my start day and just wait in one week after that. Um, this might be something, yeah. This, this makes sense. I think it could make a difference in what you're seeing. So I think it's a good idea. I think that I need to weigh like this coming up Friday to then get into the weekly Friday weigh-ins. Like should I weigh myself Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and then get myself back on that? Weighing daily is, for me, a really helpful thing. It shows you sort of the trends that you're seeing if you eat something that causes a bit of inflammation or a bit of water retention. And if you can handle the fluctuations and they're not going to bother you, then I think you get a better picture when you weigh daily. So if it were me, yeah, I think you have the right plan. I would track daily just to see where you're going. And between that and switching your weigh-in days, I think you're going to have a much better picture of what's actually going on with your weight loss. Sounds like solid advice to me. She sold me on that one. That just sounds amazing. Like, honestly, I definitely can do this. I will. So what I'm going to do is weigh myself every day. Today's Monday, so I weigh myself this morning. I'll weigh myself every day. And then I'll weigh in on Friday. We'll see what it is. And we'll go from there. And then I'll just continue to, to weigh every single day. Have a great week. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye, Lisa. Thanks for all your help. And just like that, that is one of the things that I love about our healthy community and all of our healthy coaches. And especially health, healthy head coach Lisa. Like, 
she doesn't just do this for me. She helps out every single one of our members that reaches out to her and gets that one-on-one basis. You don't get this anywhere else. So it's not just a perk for being the community manager. It's a perk of being a healthy member. What's up, healthy family? Community manager Jordan here. End of week three. Recap, weigh-in day, whatever you want to call it. All I can tell you, it's in the books, and I have never been more excited and thrilled in my life. Guys, week three, ended up losing five pounds. Five pounds. Weighed in this morning at 256.4, which puts me at a total of 9.2 pounds lost within three weeks on the Healthy Conquer Cravings app. Guys, Healthy Works, Conquer Cravings Works. Tr I tracked my food. I enjoyed myself. If you guys follow me along that third week on my personal Instagram on Clyde's Daily Life, you'll find I went to the Hibachi Grill, had sushi, had orange chicken, had all that stuff, and it gave me even a sodium gain, but I was able to get it off, flush my system. It's all good, guys, no matter what, but you'll find I tracked every day. Down 9.2 pounds, and... Let me tell you, 10 pounds is right on the corner. All I need to lose next week is almost a pound, and I've hit my 10-pound goal. But guys, here's a friendly reminder. If you don't hit your goal of that, one day at a time, one pound at a time. And guys, if you haven't yet seen the Facebook Live Q&A with Head Coach Lisa and myself, discussing about my 30-day journey, discussing why I chose Conquer Cravings, discussing why we decided to change my weigh-in day to Fridays. You know, after I spoke with her that day, of the first weigh-in, you know, cue the clip here. I have an idea that might make a big change. You know, it makes a big difference with my social life and the way that I socially eat. You know, Mondays were not a good thing for me because of going out on the weekends. This is all stuff that our community coaches and especially head coach Lisa can help you on. And I'm so excited to have done this for the last three weeks under her guidance, showing that I've had progress that I haven't seen in years. And I'm so excited that I was able to do it. And this, I hope, is encouragement to you to start today. Start today. And I can't wait to see you next week. Thank you.